Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Today it is cleaning day. We have got to clean these filthy spider habitats. So we're going to start with the habitat of the Southern Black Widow. You can see how big she is. And we, we've got to get the old cricket food out of there. Oh, she, she don't like that. Whoa, leave that alone. We've got to get the old dead crickets out of there. Because what the spiders do is, you know, they're vampires. They will capture a cricket and she's doing that push-up thing where she's agitated. They will catch her, capture a cricket. Catch her. They will capture a cricket and they will suck their juices out, which means you have a dried-up carcass of a cricket in there still. And that's what we have here. Wow. She is really agitated. You see her doing those push-up things. And you can see how big she is. It looks like she's ready to lay another egg sack. But, man, see, look at this filth. The other thing about these spiders is... These containers will start to smell. And part of it is just, you know, these spiders stink. But a big part are the carcasses of their prey that they leave when they're done with them. Yeah, very creepy spider. And that's a southern black widow. You can, you can see how, man, she is just not happy. She's doing them push-up things. She's got some carcasses in the web. I don't think I'm going to be able to get much of that out of there. There's little chance of her escaping. I have the top off here. She's not going to escape. These aren't super fast spiders. As long as you pay attention to where they are, keep your eye on the spider at the same time as you're doing your job, then you will be perfectly fine doing this. There is a lot of mess in here. The only thing I can't do in here is like wash the inside. So when both the bugs and the spiders get on the outside of the container and they poop on it and or they leave stuff on there, that will mess up the viewing. Well, it's a lot cleaner than it was. You can see how much stuff came out of this. All right, so this is also a southern black widow. The problem is this one hangs out at the top of the habitat. Big mistake, right? And she's got that cricket right there, but it's hanging, and I can't really get to it. On the bottom of this, there's some of the cricket food down there. And yeah, this is just... I'm going to have to leave this one as it is, because I, I can't get there. You see, this one, she likes hanging out upside down on the roof from the ceiling of the container. Now, this is another big southern black widow, and this southern black widow has never laid an egg sack. So that leads me to believe this one has never made it. And we're just going to have to call her habitat clean, because there's nothing we can do. All right, now let's look at the false black widow's habitat. She has an egg case hanging from the ceiling. This is her second or third egg case. And there is so much web in here. And the outside of this container is just filthy now. So we can clean out the, the carcasses and the cricket feed now. But in the future, we're going to have to do that thing where you take a little tiny rag or a Q-tip and start washing the edges. Let's get rid of this egg sack. we got to get rid of it. Remember, the false black widow has a messy egg sack compared to the real black widow. There's a lot of filth going on in this habitat, in this container. The food down there, you have some carrot, you got some of the cricket feed, and there's carcasses, but there's Dubai roaches in there too, and you know, Dubai roaches, we're going to eat on that, but we just got to get some of this out of there. It's going to start to smell. Come on, roaches. Yeah, there's... Roaches are still alive. They got a little movement there on them. Even though I could get that close to the tweezers, they didn't care. Now, the spider released. Oh, there she is. She's getting a little agitated. Hey, what are you doing in here? She sees the movement. She knows what's going on. The lighting's changed because I have the lid off. The green stuff here are little cubes of cricket food nutrient, food and water. And in some of these habitats, you will see carrots and then you'll see orange cubes of cricket food. The benefit of using this type of cricket food is it contains both the water, the moisture they need, and the food, and the vitamins and nutrients, so the feeders you have in there stay healthy and can eat until the spider wants to eat them. So here's a good look at the false black widow. She's cleaning her feet, preening herself. Definitely looks like a false black widow in this light with the brown. 
when you start getting to some of these silhouettes and it starts looking like a real Black Widow. So if you're not sure about what a spider is, don't just automatically assume it's a false Black Widow. Remember, you can't count on the hourglass on being on all Black Widow spiders or Brown Widow spiders. I know at least on Black Widow spiders, sometimes the hourglass is nearly invisible. You need magnification to see it. And we have the Brown Widow's habitat. Look at all those carcasses. Because remember, the Brown Widow spider is very aggressive and a lot of carcasses in here. This one spider's been doing some damage. So let's get as many of these things out of here as we can and clean this place up a little bit. Right now the brown widow is hiding, so she doesn't really care what's going on. But you got to be careful with these things because they, like I said, they are mean. They're very aggressive. Not as dangerous as a black widow spider, but they seem to be much more aggressive. And this brown widow has eaten a lot more Dubai roaches than the other spiders have. All right, so what do you think? Did you ever think you had to clean house on a black widow spider habitat? Well, of course you do. you got to clean everything, right? Yeah. Oh. If you keep these habitats clean, they will not smell. I wouldn't stick my nose in there because you might get bit by a spider. But yeah, the next thing we're going to have to worry about is trying to clean the glass. And we'll worry about that in another video. And there's nothing we can do about all the spider poop down the bottom. That's just life, right? All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.